Evening, everybody. This is the Hawk. So tonight, I'm going to talk about leadership. What makes a good leader? In the past 25 years in South Africa, the leadership of South Africa has left much to be desired. So I'm going to give you the John Maxwell 21 irrefutable laws of leadership. So to cut down time as fast as possible, I'm going to go as fast as possible. So number one, the law of the lid. Leadership is the ability to determine a person's level of effectiveness. Hmm. No effectiveness there. The law of influence. The measure of leadership to influence. Nothing more, nothing less. The law of process. The law, to, the leadership to develop a daily, but not a day. So in other words, Every day it's developed on a daily basis. It's always sorted out before him. Not in the day or on the day. The law of navigation. Anyone can steer a ship, but can you take this leadership and lead it on a Charted course. The law of E.F. Hutton. When a real leader speaks, people listen. The law of solid ground. Trust is the foundation of leadership. The law of respect. People naturally follow a leader stronger than themselves. The law of intuition. A leader evaluates everything with leadership bias. The law of magnetism. Magnetism. Who are you? It is what who you are that attracts them. The law of connection. A leader touches the heart before he asks for the hand. The law of the inner circle. The leader's potential to determine those closest to him. The law of empowerment. Only a secure leader gives powers to others. The law of production. It takes a leader to raise up a leader. The law of buy-in. People buy into a leader. Then the vision. The law of victory. A leader finds a way for the team to win. 25 years they failed every single time. There's no morale in the country. There's no camaraderie. There's no rainbow nation. There's no colorful flag. There's a black pole and a flag covered in blood. The law of big O.
Momentum is a leader's best friend. The law of priorities, understanding the activities, not necessarily the accomplishment. The law of sacrifice, a leader must give up to go up. Most leaders in Africa take, they take everything. They don't care about what's around them. They are petrified to lose power. So they grab onto this power because it becomes a sickness and it shows their weakness as leaders. They will manipulate the laws. They will create, cre create division. They will do everything in their power to stay in power because it's a sickness. And if you're a strong leader and you have vision, solutions, not racism, every person will, will be part of the team. 25 years, most black people still live in townships in squalor. The law of timing. When to lead is important as what to do and where to go. The law of explosive growth. To add growth, leaders follow. To multiply, leads leaders. The law of legacy. A leader's lasting value is measured in success. And succession. The 11 myths. Sorry. The 11 themes of servant leadership, calling. Do people believe you're willing to sacrifice your self-interest for the good of the group? Listening. Do people believe you want to hear their ideas and will value them? Empathy. Do people believe you understand what is happening in their lives and how it affects them? Healing. Do people come to you when the chips are down or when something traumatic happens in their lives? How many friends have you had like that? They run and you're in trouble, but always come running to you when they need help. I'll tell you a story about a clown and a psychologist. The psychologist went to the circus one day, and this is a profound story. And he saw this clown, and he was in a downward mood that day, felt a little bit sorry for himself because he was frustrated with his patients. He was having a hard time getting them happy. So he went to the circus and there was this clown. The clown made him laugh so much that he forgot all his problems. He went back six times in a row. So he decided this was good therapy for his patients. So all of them came. And for years this worked for him. One day a man came to his office. He said, I'm down. I want to commit suicide. I can't handle it anymore. He says, listen, man. He has some free tickets. Go see the clown. This guy will amaze you. You will laugh so hard that you will just forget all your problems. The man said, I can't. This psychologist kept on and on. The man said, I can't. He goes, why not? He says, I am the clown. Profound. Awareness. Do others believe you have a strong awareness 
for what is going on. Persuasion. Do others follow you, your request, because they want to oppose? Because they have to. Foresight. Do others have confidence in your abilities to anticipate the future and the consequences? Conceptualization. Do others communicate the ideas and visions for organization when you are around? Stewardship. Do others believe you are preparing the organization to take a positive, make a positive difference? Growth. Do people believe you are committed to helping them grow and develop? Community building. Do people feel strong, the strong sense of community in organizations you lead? I can tell you this right now. In South Africa, that's not the case. This is not the case. So, I'm going to bring up an article here about what's going on in South Africa right now and explain to you guys how terrible this is because the reality of it, the reality is this is shows you a leader that is scared that the truth will come out the president of south africa just signed a law to censor internet and the bill was signed into law but what he doesn't know this just opened the door for all the racists in the country to be arrested. Namely, Andile Masatam, for asking the populace of South Africa that if one black man or one black person is killed to go to white people's houses, and kill white women and children and their pets. If you didn't, if you think I'm lying, go on Google and look up BLF, killing white women and children. And they didn't arrest them. They removed the old apartheid flag, which had British flags, American flags, French flags and all kinds of flags inside this flag, but they still sing the boer. They still sing the song, one bullet, one boer. That means kill the farmer. And when taken to the human rights organization, they said, oh, it's just a, a song. It's got nothing to do with it. But the same human rights organizations paid by the ANC government to be, they are funded by them. When there was massive, massive, massive electoral fraud in this last elections where the ANC actually lost, and there was so much corruption that it was there was documented that the EFF was going to six and seven polling stations at once and voting over and over again. They did not do a thing. Now there's a Springbok rugby player that's been brought up on human rights charges after he was attacked by six people of color in a bar and he was defending himself. So they would jeopardize the South African Springbok team of a bar fight to prove racism that they cannot deal with because we have Julius Malema stating, oh, we're not going to kill people right now, but I can't promise you in the future. That's a veiled threat.
and the numerous, numerous other things that have been said in the last couple of months with a xenophobia where Malama stated, brothers, don't kill yourselves. Go kill white people. Ace Mashula, one of the high leadership in the ANC, who is now wheeling and dealing to get rid of Ramaphosa and Zuma so he can become the president, stated, yes, white people, they need to be cut, killed too. When asked the question, why would you... Why would you invest in a country that's full of racism? There is no rainbow nation. There's only one color in South Africa. It's the color of blood. This bill states revenge porn. I agree with that one. Hate speech. You know nothing's going to happen. The only people that will be prosecuted on this one will be white people. Anybody that discriminates or, or advocates or says, we don't like what's happening with the government, they will be arrested and fined $500,000 and could spend two years in jail. And the other one is child pornography distribution, which I agree with. But this hate speech, this is deliberate. This is deliberate. This is to control the political arena in South Africa to keep them quiet. This is not leadership. This is just apartheid all over again. If this is the case, then the 164 laws that the South African government has on the books that discriminates against whites need to be removed tomorrow morning. In my opinion, the South African government must be given an ultimatum. Either remove the 164 laws or we don't pay taxes because we cannot make money. We cannot support our families. We cannot be productive human beings in a society that discriminates against us because of the color of our skin. And this is not against black people. This is the logic of human rights. In the nine, early 90s, the South African people removed apartheid. Any leader in the world that quotes racism as an excuse for the reasons for what's going on in South Africa, should look at their history and say, two wrongs don't make a right. And racism is an excuse for their lack of leadership. Having said that, There's a report out that shows you that the ANC government sold out to high, to banks, to criminal organizations, not criminal, well, they're criminals as far as I'm concerned, because state capture was based on the Ruperts, the Oppenheimers, the Rothschilds, the, the the whole lot of them, the whole lot of them, the ANC sold out to them. This is why the country's collapsing, mineral rights are gone, everything is gone, it's all gone. Now they're blaming the, the people on the ground that had nothing to do with it as an excuse to get away with whatever they did. They are too scared that they're gonna go to jail. Every single one of these ANC leaders any of the people that are in parliament that knew about it, any municipality people, police, you name it, investigators, judges, lawyers, anyone involved, all of them, the entire lot. There's about a thousand of them. 
Consider this, only 500 people are running that country. Add all the other people that assisted them, maybe 1,500. They all need to be arrested, all the assets frozen and taken, and they all need to go to jail. Because what they have done is tantamount to human rights violations. They've taken a country in 25 years and literally destroyed it. With a murder rate of 500,000 people as per the UN and a rape rate of a, of a million women that is still ongoing, still not resolved. And the mindset now is just take whatever you can. Don't worry, there is no law. So now people are indiscriminately killing, raping, murdering, and torturing people. Sad day for leadership. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Hit the like button. Please share all over the world. The world needs to know what's going on. I posted a video just now. I had to splice it together. It took a while. It's about the Brom. Uh, Brom. They he came home. Something was wrong. Walked into his living room. Three men held him down, tied him up. His three little boys, the four little boys, were sleeping in the living room watching TV. They went into the bedroom, took his wife out, tied her up, demanded money and guns. All he had was 250 rand on him and a computer he offered them. One of the men stated in his language that he wanted to rape the wife. The husband understood what he was saying and told the wife to run. She got up, ran out the kitchen, and they two of them chased her. He went in the kitchen, got a machete, and he managed to hit one of the uh, perpetrators. The man shot him in the arm, spun him around, shot him twice in his back and paralyzed him. He died yesterday, legless, because he, was, he contracted a disease. So they removed both his legs, then his hips, and in the end he was down to nothing, and he died in hospital in extreme pain. And this was on another farm. Now our wife's left with four children. No father, no income, massive medical bills. And the world looked the other way. Yet again. Please share my videos to the world. Please. To all the people in South Africa. The people you are picking on, the people you are blaming are not the people that you have a problem with. It's the leadership. In 1994, the ANC hierarchy were put in a room by very, very rich people. You have to understand when communist Russia, the USSR fell apart, they had no support from the from the communist regimes. They were on their own then. They were given a country. And they were at the mercy of money. Money that controls the world. In 25 years, they have literally raped that country. because they can control the government. Brahmaposa was given huge amounts of money. All of them were, Mandela, all of them. The clerk, the clerk sold the South African people down the toilet. He lied, they all did. Most white people grew up in a law where you couldn't say anything. I was one of them. 
couldn't say nothing against the government. You just went with the flow because you were born into it. When we decided to change it, we were able to change it. But we didn't realize why they did it. For 10 years, they'd been in Robben Island, back and forth, back and forth, making deals. Twenty-five years later, half a million people are dead. A million people, a million women are raped. Education is down the toilet. The economy is almost 16 to 1 because of leadership. This is the Hawk. I'm out of here. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Hit the like button. Share all over the place. Send it everywhere. Please send it everywhere. The world needs to know what's going on in South Africa. And, and you know, this leadership thing, look at America today. You got these Democrat crazies running all over the place. They, to me, they're a clear and present danger to the United States. All the people that pulled, uh, tried to... Uh, take over the presidency illegally, should have been arrested for treason. Mr. Trump, dear President Trump, the man, release the documents. Let the people of America see the truth. Let them see the truth and let the chips fall where they may. I think they're in for a big surprise. Declassify those documents and let the world know what really happened. This is the Hawk. I'm out of here. And please, South Africa, stop killing your people. Stop raping your, your, your daughters and your mothers and your grandmothers. Stop it. I'm out of here. Good night, everybody.